still hasn't sunk in yet, to be honest, completely honest, would you? Uh, even walking out onto the ground here and into the change room, like I haven't, I haven't stepped foot on this ground for six years, and yeah, it was quite emotional, to be honest. Um, you know, knowing, you know, I played 184 games, 86 games here, and you know, I'm a life member of the Carlton Football Club. You know, we flew over this morning, we left our kids, uh, all my kids back at home in Adelaide. Uh, Louis at school at the moment, so I'll let him know when I get home tonight and see his reaction. But, you know, sitting in the car on the way here, just processing everything and thinking about what I'm going to say, uh, how am I going to, you know, talk to the fans and um, hopefully they're all excited that, that I'm back and, um, yeah, I just can't wait, to be honest, to, to get started. I play and I react to the play up the field and what, what the ball's doing. Um, you know, if it's slowed up a lot, then it makes it harder for you to play, you know, the footy that you're capable of playing. And, I'm hoping, I'm not hoping, I know that this footy club will finish off the way they did at the end of the season and hopefully we can continue that into 2020. Hopefully that I can offer some experience um, and develop some of the younger kids. You know, we've got a young forward line down there and very exi exciting forward line and you know, there may be some more exciting players to come into this team, um, depending how the trade period turns out, but I'm really looking forward to coming in and help develop our younger kids and you know, just, I've got, I think I've got a lot of knowledge that I need to, that I can express to these young kids and, uh, and hopefully just some excitement as well. Um, and I'm really looking forward to, to coming back and playing for the Carlton Football Club. I believe I've still got a lot to offer. I may be 32, but I still believe that I can play some good footy um, and some good footy for the Carlton Football Club. Watching some of these young players come in, you know, Big Harry Mackay, um, Charlie Kerno, especially my mate Mitch McGovern, these tall forward you got down here. And then you look at players like Sam Welsh winning the Rising Star, uh, Paddy Cripps dominating in the midfield, Ed Kerno's had his best, best year um, this year. So it's very exciting and I'm looking forward to coming back and working with all those guys. Like I said, it's a fairy tale ending to come home and play for the Carlton Football Club. I kept in contact with the cheer squad, the Carlton cheer squad, I'm very close with them. And you know, even when I played against them, they, they cheered my name, they wanted me to come back and I've always go up after every game up and say hello to them and hug them and uh, yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be weird knowing that I've left a footy club that really embraced me that really loved me in their cheer squad the Adelaide footy club and it'll be sad um, not knowing that you know I'm not playing for the Adelaide footy club anymore but exciting in a way that I'm coming home to finish off my career at the Carlton Football Club so I can't wait to get stuck into it I've got a lot of text messages so far from a lot of people and um, I hope the fans are excited because I am and and I still believe that I've got a lot to offer and um, yeah, like I said, I'm looking forward to it.